geeks, nerds, gamers, and trolls. This is your MMOBomb.com. First look at Realm Royale. Yet another free-to-play Battle Royale on Steam. Imagine that, right? This one's from High res Studios, a company you may recognize. The company behind Paladins and Smite. That's right. They are chasing another trend, jumping into the Battle Royale genre. So, as we tend to do here at MMO Bomb, we're going to jump in and take a first look, see what the game looks like, sounds like, plays like, give you an opportunity to see if it's a game you want to play. As always, this is not a full review, this is not an expert guide. This is simply a first look to give you a chance to take a look at the game and decide if it's something you want to download. Now, it is absolutely free to play on Steam. There is no cash shop. There is no early access buy-in. It is in quote-unquote early access on Steam, but there's no buy-in. There's no founders packs or anything like that. There's no cash shop currently in the game at all. They've got a slot in the menu for a shop. They've got a slot for battle passes, which is going to be similar to what Fortnite does and what Paladins does now, of course. But as of right now, no monetization whatsoever. So you got to give them props for that. If you're going to be this early in an alpha of a game, don't monetize it. Just let folks play it and figure out what's going to work for the game going forward. Now, of course, Realm Royale began its life as a game mode that the High Res was working on for Paladins. It was... Uh, Going to be just another mode in with all the team deathmatch and the siege and all that. And they were going to use their own, their characters that they've got in the game already for Paladins. And it's just going to be a game mode involving those. Uh, as you might imagine, that didn't work out so well. This game mode isn't really suited for characters that are balanced around a first person arena type shooter, hero shooter like that. So there were some characters who were super OP and some who were completely useless. So what they've done is decided for the good of the game, instead of trying to balance back and forth between that game mode that's so different from everything else Paladins does. They introduced this standalone game. They've taken out all the characters, but you're gonna recognize some of the stuff I'm picking up here. The weapons, guns, uh, swords, abilities that you're gonna use are gonna be very familiar to Paladins players from some of your favorite heroes in the game. That being said, what Realm Royale is trying to do to set itself apart from some of the other Battle Royales in the genre is introduce a class system and a crafting system. As you can see, as I'm picking up items off the ground that's coming out of these chests, some of them I can equip if I choose to. The ones I don't want in there, you can see I accidentally used an ability. That's a good example of a barrier that you can set up to shield yourself. So as the items that I don't want to hit the ground, instead of just leaving them there, I disenchant them, turn them into shards, and just walk over to the forge. Forges are kind of different locations spread throughout the world, and you can walk up to those and spend your shards to create legendary items or healing potions or armor potions. So and for my specific class, if I'd have crafted a weapon there, which I can't yet, and we'll get into that in a minute, but I crafted like an armor piece. And so I'm going to get a random legendary armor piece out of the forge, but I've got to wait for it to craft. So now I've got to sit and hope I don't get ambushed while I'm crafting that piece. But if I crafted a legendary weapon, I would get my class-specific legendary weapon. And you can see when you're selecting the classes at the beginning of the game, which weapons, which legendary weapons go to each class, and different abilities that are available to that class. Now, you can't equip them all. There are four or five different ones available to each class right now, but you're only choosing two at a time. You can have two equipped at any time, and you can swap those out whenever you want to. If you find something else you like better or an upgraded version of it, you can swap that out. And then every class has its own unique movement ability, like leaps and dashes and teleport and the mage there's like a little superman thing it's like a flying fast movement i'm not sure how to explain it but you'll probably see some footage of it here in a minute but yeah so different abilities different classes and class specific weapons and crafting in the game disenchanting and crafting your weapons as you go along so you know definitely farm up run around open chests find weapons try to kill folks see kind of what equipment they've picked up along the way but disenchanting those along the way to get the currency to craft legendary items to upgrade yourself to get ready for that end game it's a nice way to sort of fill that void in the middle of the game that battle royals have a lot of times you know you get that first initial drop and folks just start dying immediately then you've always got this lull sort of in the middle where you you're waiting for the circle to close in to get to that you know small circle end game fight with the last dozen or so people uh, in, in this mode, a lot like Radical Heights, I gave them props for putting different events and little things around the map to sort of bring players together and create points of contention. These forges are a great way to play to create points of contention because you're going to spend the first few minutes while everybody's dying, you're going to be collecting and getting your shards. So in that middle portion, when normally everybody's just sort of running around and maybe trying to gear up, 
you've got these points of contention you got to go to to create the best armor and the best weapons in the game. So it's a great way to bring players together and give them a reason to fight throughout the middle part of the game. So you've got classes, you've got crafting. Other than that, it's fairly standard Battle Royale. Now, I'm a fan of the art style. Here. I'm, I'm the guy who prefers Paladins to Overwatch, mainly because of the feel of the gunplay and just sort of the art style of the game. Say what you will about that. That's just subjective. That's just my personal preference. So I, I do enjoy the art style of the game. But general gameplay is going to be what you expect. Land in the world, try to kill folks, try to survive. And then try to make it to the end and the and the world's going to close in around you and you've got to be able to make it to certain points in the map within certain time periods um, all the while trying to survive. Now the legendary weapons that you craft, you do have to kill somebody before you can craft a legendary weapon. So you're not just going to be able to instantly craft a legendary weapon with enough shards. So it does reward going out and getting into fights because you have to, you have, to have a kill under your belt to be able to craft a legendary weapon. You can see on the UI down at the bottom left... Uh, you can see my health, and then above that's the armor I'm wearing from the gear I'm wearing. Then above that's the items I've got equipped. Then you can see like a little turkey leg with a times one. And then you've got my shards over there. The shards are what I'm spending to craft things at the forge. The turkey leg means I've killed somebody. You have to have that turkey leg to craft that legendary weapon. So you got to go out and get the fights and get a kill if you want some of the best weapons in the game. And those weapons can be super powerful. Really strong weapons. So... You know, balancing going forward is going to be something to watch. Right now, the warrior class is considered pretty OP at the moment. But here's the other thing about high res, right? And their alphas and betas and whatever. Say what you will about them, about how buggy their games are. And yes, this game is, is buggy. There's T-posing and there's people who are falling halfway through the world. Lots of bugs in the game. But high res is not scared about trying something crazy, doing different things, throwing stuff against the wall and see what sticks. Sometimes it turns out great. Sometimes you end up with cards unbound <laughs> and you have to fight and claw and protest to make that kind of crap go away. High res has this hard on for trying to sell us cards. Hopefully they're over that at this point because like I said, there's a, there's a slot out in the main menu for a battle pass now. So it looks like it's going to be very similar to Paladins. I'm sure there's going to be loot, loot boxes, loot chests. RNG chests uh, that you can purchase. I have no doubt in my mind that high res does love their loot boxes. So there probably will be that in the shop for the cosmetics. But other than that, I mean, there's not going to be, shouldn't be any obvious pay to win. No type of cards unbound type system. Surely, surely they've learned their lesson on that, right? Right? As of right now, there are two game modes in the game. is duos and squads. So you can queue up with a friend or you can queue up with a squad of four. It will fill in matchmake if you don't have a full squad or two folks. There is no solo queue. Now, you can go into duos and turn off the fill team feature, a lot like Fortnite. You know, you can turn off fill and go in solo if you want to not have a random person on your team. Now, that being said, if you run into two folks who are actually playing together and cooperating, communicating, you're probably going to get your shit stomped in. Uh, just like I did a couple of minutes ago, uh, ran into two guys and they chickened me pretty fast. I gave them a good fight, though. I, I chickened one of them. But, you know, it's it's not going to be a solo game. And as of right now, High Res is saying they're not focused on solo play. They're focused on team co-op play because of their class system. They want everybody to do something a little different that sort of contributes to the overall team. So as of right now, this is a team-focused game. Who knows going forward what it's going to turn into. By this time next week, this entire first look could be completely pointless and useless and the game could be completely different. Who knows? Just know it's early access. It is flagged as alpha when you actually load into the game. So this is still very, very early on in the development process. And if Paladins is any indication, they're not shy about taking their sweet, sweet time to get the game the way they want it. And I'm just talking away and I realized the clip in the background is the turret clip where I got into a fight with a guy at the very beginning and I, luckily I picked up a turret. So I dropped the turret down. He chickened me, but my turret chickened him when he tried to come back in. I guess he thought that the turret was going to disappear quicker than it did. I don't know, but uh, that was one of my favorite moments in the game. That was a lot of fun. Just dropping the turret and then getting the guy who had, uh, who had got me. And uh, I'm pretty sure he got away there. I don't think my teammate found him whenever they ran in there. Um, if you see me playing with teammates, it's just random folks that I got matched up with. I didn't have any friends uh, playing along with me this time. So this is just me sort of roaming around. Sometimes I don't fill in duos, and then sometimes I just let random people be in my squad. And sometimes I'm in a squad, but I'm that guy who 
lands on the other side of the map or something because I'm trying to get certain footage of certain things. So, yeah, here we go with another 1v1 fight. This is going to be fun, running around. He's trying to give me the run around here because I put a hurting on him at first, so I got to chase him down. So, overall, Realm Royale is a game I enjoy. Um, like I said, I like Smite. I like Paladins. I like most of the stuff how res does. Their monetization can be a little wonky. Their, you know, their games can be buggy. Their servers can be a little unstable, but I enjoy their games. I really do. So, just know that, like, I'm a high res guy. Like, I'm, I don't want to call myself a fanboy, but I, I like their games. I enjoy their games. So, and this one has pretty positive feedback so far. For early access, early on alpha, uh, a lot of folks have nice things to say about it. So, it's a game that I enjoy. And I think, I think it's a game, if you know, if you're looking for something besides Fortnite or PUBG, this could be something that you would want to try out. It does offer something truly unique. It is from a studio who's not going to go under if the uh, game doesn't make millions of dollars within the first three days that is out. So just know that. High res is, you know, they're pretty financially stable at the moment. So, I mean, I can't say that later on down the road they won't say that this game isn't viable to remain up, but the whole company's not just going to disappear in a week because they didn't get millions of players in the game. That being said, uh, when I was playing this on Steam, there were... They're around 14,000 playing on Steam, which isn't bad for an early access alpha. So we'll just have to see going forward uh, sort of how they develop the game going forward, what the game turns into. Like I said, they're not going to be shy about throwing some crazy stuff against the wall and seeing what sticks. So we're just going to see, wait and see what happens with the game going forward. But this is a uh, Realm Royale, free to play on Steam, uh, a game that I enjoy. And if it continues in a positive way, if this game doesn't try to do anything crazy like Cards Unbound, this will be my preferred battle royale going forward. Um, I don't need to play like eight of them. Uh, I'll just need one, and this will probably be my one. I, I like high res. Going forward, high res has stated they do plan on bringing this game to consoles. Uh, they have no plans for Mac at this time. To, to me, the weirdest thing is that it's Steam only now. You can't use the standalone client, and when you log in through Steam, it uses your Steam account. You don't even log in through your high res account whenever you log in. So I'm used to playing Smite and Paladins on the standalone clients. I don't actually play those through Steam. So just, just know this is Steam only. If you were in the technical alpha, if you saw it in the launcher for Paladins or Smite and jumped in and played it on the standalone, that doesn't get you to the game anymore. You might as well just uninstall that version of it. If you want to play it, you got to install the Steam version of it. So just know that going in. Uh, I mean, convenience wise, your entire Steam friends list shows up in your in-game friends list. So if you want to play with somebody, I mean, you've got all your friends there already ready to go. So just know that uh, it's it's very early, folks. Uh, it is buggy. There there are some issues. I've seen some folks having some issues getting friends in party and stuff like that. So just know that going in right now, it's going to be buggy. There's going to be issues. There's been a couple of server maintenances where servers have been down. I tried to record footage, some more footage this morning, and the server was down for hours. So I had to wait till after the free-to-play cast to actually record the rest of the footage I was looking for. So... Just know it's very early, but it is free to play on Steam. No Founders Packs, no monetization at all right now. Going forward, you can probably, if you're interested to see what they're going to do, all indications are you can just look at Paladins, and that's what the monetization is going to be, which is going to be lockboxes and battle passes uh, with cosmetics. So hopefully they stick to that. Hopefully they do the right thing this time. No more Cards Unbound, please, high res. Uh, but that's going to wrap it up for this first look for Realm Royale. It's a game that, like I said, I enjoy. Uh, subjective opinion, but I like high res games. I enjoy playing them. So something I like, something I hope you'll give a try. And, you know, whether you like it or not, just give it a shot. See if you like it. Seems to be pretty positive feedback so far. So we're going to wrap this up and call it a first look for Realm Royale. As always, be sure to head over to MMOBomb.com to check out all the latest news information and everything you need to know about all the free-to-play games in the world. The entire world. We cover them. We've got them. Some great, great editorial pieces up on the site right now. Go over and check it out. MMOBomb.com. I have been, as always, the Noob Fridge, Troy Blackburn. You can follow me on Twitch.tv slash Noob Fridge, where I play games like this. You can also follow me on Twitter at Noob Fridge. We appreciate you checking out this first look. As always, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Love you guys, and we will see you next time. I am out.